I mean, he doesn't stand as a president, for example, even though he was the first. He's often uh, rated number three, four, seven. There's all kinds of, but not number one. Now, Lincoln usually is number one, and Washington's up there, rightly so. I think he should be first, because not just as, as president, but, but just as a figure. He dominates the, the era. Uh, for his character, he created the kind of persona that everyone at the time admired uh, for, for his restraint, for his uh, dealing with restraint in the use of power, his dealing with, uh, with, with the uh, army, with the civilian population. He's the one who put down the, the coup d'etat that we almost had, a military coup in 1783. Uh, and he stood for what the United States ought to be. And, and, and in a way that no other single figure did. And so he dominates that whole period from the 1750s, really, through, uh, through 1790s, through, through his death of 1799. That this is a man uh, that transcends the rest of us. He's indispensable. He is the supreme uh, character that runs through the period. And they all respected him. Uh, even at the end, of course, in his second term as president, he was bitterly criticized by, by some, some of his opponents. But he commanded the respect of the le all the leaders, including Jefferson and Madison, who were in opposition to his administration at the end, because of the kind of person he was. And so I don't think anyone else could have done what he did, not only lead the army through uh, eight years of war, but lead the uh, country as first president through eight years of, of his two administrations.